Division, scary, right? Let me help. Stick around to learn this simple step-by-step -step method so that you can solve division problems like these and even solve division problems like these. Hello and welcome to another For the Love of Learning video with me, Miss D. In this video, we're gonna look at solving some division problems with remainders. Now at this point, you probably feel pretty confident with solving division problems using objects and pictures. In this video, we're gonna take it one step further so you can start to solve your division problems using pen and paper. Sometimes I can use my times table facts to help me work out the answers to division problems. For example, 10 divided by two, I know the answer is five because five multiplied by two will give me 10. But what do I do when my question isn't in my times table fact? For example, 11 divided by two. Let's work through this problem together. When we're doing division, we are sharing equally into groups. So for this example, 11 divided by two, I'm gonna share into two equal groups. As you can see, there are five in each group, but there's one left over. In maths, we call that leftover a remainder, and they're very important and do not like to be forgotten. So my answer is five with a remainder of one. We write that as a lowercase r, just like this. Now for this problem, 10 divided by two does actually help us because it's the closest times table to our problem. When doing this problem, we want to know how many times two fits into 11. So let's write out our two times table. One times two is two, two times two is four, three times two is six, and so on and so on. So we can see that 11 fits in nicely between 10 and 12. And these are two numbers that are in the two times table or multiples of two. We have to look at the multiple of two before our number because we don't have 12 to share out. We've only got 11. So we're gonna share out 10. When we share out 10, we can see that there are five in each group. To find our remainder, we count on from 10 to our number. As 11 is only one more than 10, our remainder is one. Let's look at another example. 17 divided by three. Let's use pictures, but also our knowledge of the times tables to help us work out this problem. First, write out the three times table. Straight away, we can see that 17 is not in the three times table, so we already know we're going to have a remainder. Five times three is 15, and six times three is 18, and 17 fits somewhere in between 15 and 18. But we don't have 18 items to share out. So we're gonna go for the multiple below and share out 15 items. We can see if we share out 15 items or do 15 divided by three, we get five. Now, to work out our remainder, we just count how many we've got left over, or we see what the difference is between 15 and 17. We can see that there's two, so our answer is five remainder two. What about 27 divided by six? I don't know this off the top of my head, so let's use our strategies to work it out. Well, let's start by writing out our six times table. I can see that 27 fits nicely between four times six, which is 24, and five times six, which is 30. I don't have 30 items to share out, so we need to look at the multiple below, which is 24. I know that 24 divided by six is four. I can also show this by sharing 24 items into six equal groups. I've got four in each group. But I need to remember I've only shared 24 out of the 27 items. So to find out what my remainder is, I'm gonna find out what the difference between 24 and 27 is, which is three. I can also see I've got three left over. So my answer is four remainder three. Your turn to have a go at home. Have a go at 26 divided by four. Pause the video now. Welcome back. If I write out my four times table, I can see that 26 fits nicely between 24 and 28. I look at the multiple below, which gives us six. I then count on from 24 to 26, which gives us the remainder of two. So my answer is six remainder two. This is a great method to use when we're dividing by one digit numbers because we can use our knowledge of our times tables to help us. 
We can even do this with bigger numbers that we want to divide. For example, 83 divided by 9. So we start by writing out our 9 times table. Even if you don't know your 9 times table off by heart, it's worth taking the time to work them out by counting in 9s and writing them down. Remember, there's no rush to solve these problems. Let's see where my number 83 fits in. It fits in nicely between 81 and 90. But I have to remember, I've only got 83 items to share out, so we look at the multiple below, which is 81. 81 divided by 9 is 9, but I can't forget that my original number was 83. So to work out what my remainder is, I find the difference between 83 and 81, which is 2. So my answer is 9, remainder 2. Your turn to have a practice now. Try 64 divided by 7. Pause the video. Welcome back. As we can see, on our 7 times table, 64 fits between 63 and 70. But we don't have 70 items, so we're going to share out 63. 63 divided by 7 is 9. To work out our remainder, we count on from 63 to our original number, which is 64, and we get the difference of 1. So our answer is 9, remainder 1. If you got some value from this video, please like and subscribe. If you feel ready to move on in your division journey, have a look at my next video where I go through a more formal written method, long division, or the bus stop method. I'll put a link in the comments below. Bye for now.